time for another Macro Mill podcast and download, where winning is the game and we have no shame. Your macro dose of motivation, nutrition, and entertainment. And now your host, Doug Green. For nearly two decades, Brandon Pogue and his wife of 17 years, uh, Miss Jennifer, and their three beautiful children have been living happily, both leading generally healthy lifestyles that came as a shock when an unexpected sickness overtook their lives and presented them with an obstacle that would be challenging for any family to overcome, Josh. So it was Brandon's wife's illness which led uh, to crossing paths with Dr. Brian Artis, is that his name? At a health fitness convention in their hometown of Dallas, Texas. Uh, Brandon and Dr. Artis uh, instantly hit it off and Brandon inspired Dr. Artis to take charge of his strength and fitness by joining a local CrossFit box. Whee! Step one. Uh, fast forward to, to today, uh, Early day, or early one day, Brandon and his training partners were getting ready to start their training session uh, when Brandon asked what everyone was taking for the workout. Right, pre workout. Yep. Probably like a bunch of Inno Explode and crap like that yeah. at the time. Yeah, a bunch of caffeine. Get fired <laughs> up. That's when Brandon had the, the awesome idea about colliding the worlds of fitness supplements with Dr. Artis, and that's where the, the story of True Labs begins. I love this story. I'm pretty excited about it, Brandon. You got a dog. I have a uh, guy with my hair here this, as well. This is Gino. This is my partner. This is a Ray, one of our partners here. It's his dog. But yeah, short for Manu Ginobili, it's Gino. So he's the big San nah. Antonio. So let's let's start from the beginning, Brandon. Let's let's take us back. Uh, you know, once you were coming out of the, uh, the the real estate side of things, what inspired you? Were you uh, are you is your background in like chemical engineering? And you're like, you know what? I'm tired of living in this van and down. Yes. So, uh, let's, uh, let's make some supplements. I mean, how does it start? It's a great question. So, um, after having three kids and gaining all the sympathy weight, I've got some fat pictures. I wish I could <laughs> pop them up on this. I could show you, but my yeah. wife and I were on vacation in Mexico and she was like, um, taking pictures of me on top of this like slide thing. And I was coming down and I was sort of flexing, sort of posing. And I was, um, you know, late twenties, early thirties. And we were looking at pictures through that through that night at dinner, and uh, she was showing some some of the pictures. And she showed a picture of this guy, you know, long hair, goatee, not very well defined. And I said, "Who's that?" And she goes, "That's you." And I was like, "That's not me." And she goes, "Yeah, that's what you look like." And I was like, "No, it's not." So <laughs> I came back from that vacation. This is 2010, and I came from back from that vacation. And joined a gym and I was hitting the gym four or five, six times a week and just kind of got to become a, a gym rat, I guess you could say. Um, but I, I got a really good training partner, a guy named Robbie Ginzel, who you may have met at that conference. He was there as well. Um, and he, Robbie Ginzel looks like handsome Rob. Like he is the, the prettiest, like the biggest biceps, just kind of like really, Josh. Really, <laughs> dude, just, I mean, no, this guy's like, no, this, okay. <laughs> if I should have Robbie, Robbie could have gone to a physique competition and he's a plumber. He's just an unbelievable guy. We were on a mission trip down in Mexico together, um, building a church. And then we ended up going to an orphanage and it was just a great experience. But him and I sort of like you, you and I, Doug, we hit it off. And so we started hitting the gym and, you know, we were doing the dumbbells, the free weights, you know, the military strict press. And, uh, you know, I thought I was in really good shape. And then, um, one day I was going to get pizza at this place at 380 in Custer here in McKinney. And there was this really great pizza place over there, but right next to it was a CrossFit box and in a retail, you know, kind of environment. And, uh, so I kind of peeked my head in and I said, what's going on in here? And the lady, her name was Chantel Mossy. She goes, well, come tomorrow at 8 AM and I'll show you. So I'm like, well, yeah, I'll come. So I come in in my Under Armour shorts and, you know, my wife beater shirt and, you know, total like Guido-esque look. <laughs> and I come in there and and, uh, and I get my butt handed to me in the workout, like um, squashed. There was this lady named Cindy Pierce who was a CrossFit Games athlete. She was a Masters Games athlete. And, you know, she said that she beat me like by 120 reps on like a six minute workout. I'm like, there's no way that's impossible. And uh, anyway, long story short, or maybe a long story long, um, 
I found CrossFit that way and never looked back. I haven't, uh, I haven't stopped in seven years. Wow. That's inspiring. So, yeah. So kind of a gym rat to CrossFit. And then, uh, um, I became so overtaken by CrossFit. I was always trying to look for an avenue to help people with their health and wellness. I, I didn't mean to inspire people. It wasn't, it wasn't my, uh, my goal. But what ended up happening is people always come up to me and say, hey, what do you do for a workout? How do you eat? How do you live? What do you what are you taking? You know, what kind of macros are you on? Whatever like that. And um, what kind of diet do you use? Which you guys have a big a big play in that. And, right. um, you know, because that's I, I think you can't. One of my greatest coaches ever, a lady named Abby Dickerson, she said you can't out train a poor diet. Right. We coach that we all the that time all here. here. It's not just about weight loss. Weight loss is important. We like weight loss, but performance is where we really try to yep. target people. Yep. So it's give them more energy. And it's just a huge, exactly. huge thing. Well, it's cool. A- well, well, Brandon, well, thank you for, for today and thank you for coming on our podcast. And uh, Josh, any final questions for no, Brandon? Great, great talking to you. you totally inspiring. You, Z, you zero Josh out. Yeah, Josh seriously. has at least 70 questions. <laughs> you nailed it. I just so, so uh, anybody in the listening, go out to macromealsonline.com where you'll find yeah. out why we're totally number one meal delivery service, soon to be national. Yeah. Coming down to the final days, uh, pretty happy about yeah, that. Yeah. We like to end every single show with a peace. peace.